Hey, this is Peggy with Easy Peasy Machine Embroidery, and I am in my Sonet software, and this kind of applies to most versions, and even the Premiere Plus versions, because they all have a thread cache. So, what is a thread cache? Why should you make a thread cache, and how the heck do you use it? Let's begin. So I am in the opening screen of the MySonet software, and you are going to go into the configure in Premiere Plus. It's uh, in there also. Um, there's uh, three little spools of thread, I believe, in the band across the bottom of the software. So you go to configure, <coughs> and you're going to go to utilities, and you're going to build your thread cache. I've already talked about that in uh, another video I made this morning, so you may want to look that up. But this is my my thread cache. So I these are the threads that I personally own. And then I'm going to go back out into the software. I'm just going to bring up a super design. And... I'm going to, this is already set to Robus and Anton. Some of them you'll notice are set to Silk, Silky or Madeira. And basically what you would do is go to the home and you can go down to color and tone. And a uh, reminder here that the, the item that you want to change the thread colors needs to be boxed in. And down here is your original threads. And you can say, I want it to change to the Peggy thread database. And it will change it to colors that you have in your database. Okay. Um, sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. But the main way that I um, use my thread cache is in, if I said logo to create, and then we're going to go into photo stitch and into the hoop. And I'm just going to do a, for kicks and giggles, I'm going to take any old picture. And here, I can say I want the thread colors changed to Peggy's thread database. And it will change it to my own thread color database. Now that does not look very good. So I may want to go back and change it to just a Robus and Anton. Ran 40. Obviously, I don't have a mess of those colors in my database. But that is how it works. And... I actually don't have my full uh, thread cache loaded because I lost my thread cache. It overwrote with something else. So that's why we got that appearance. But on a lot of different things, you're going to see, especially like from Embroidery Library, that there are, their threads are in Madeira. And you can change it over to um, what colors you do have in your um, thread cache and if something if one color is you know out of line or something you can double click over that color and always change it to something that you can deal with okay so that is thread cache uh remember that color and tone down here is your friend you can switch from one type of thread to another type of thread and that's how I use thread cash and I use it all the time. 
Thanks for listening. Bye.